welcome to this video workshop of Rogers, exploring Rogers organs. Rogers organs have many features, but today, this video, we're going to explore the onboard orchestral instruments of the organ. Now, all of Rogers organs have onboard orchestral instruments. We don't need any external equipment. It's all built into the organ. The organ I'm playing today is the Inspire 343, which has some beautiful, beautiful, high quality orchestral instruments. Now you heard some in the music we just played, the trumpet voluntary. It's wonderful to use pipe organ stops mixed in with orchestral instruments. We heard, of course, the orchestral trumpet. And we heard timpani in the pedals. Later, I'll explain how to build that into your registrations. You know, another uh, orchestral piece of organ music you already know that you can play orchestrally might be this. the famous Pachelbel Canon in D. Now, many organists really do not like to play that piece, but if you can orchestrate it, it might become your favorite piece. And you may suggest it to the bride for a, a wedding conference and say, wouldn't you like this? Because it sounds so beautiful on this organ. And of course, we heard uh, the beautiful oboe. We heard flute. We heard harp and strings. And then we heard piano and strings. And we heard more strings. It's all built into the organ. It's just really fun. Now here's another piece that you know, as an organist, everybody, every organist probably knows this very well. And with orchestrating it, it sounds, it comes to life and it comes to a new dimension. You know, by orchestrating your music, you may make fans out of people who really don't like organ music. They may say, I like that. Let me hear that again. It sounds so beautiful. Here we go. fun it's just beautiful it's it goes outside of the box of the pipe organ stops okay 
All right, well, how do you do this? How do you set up your stops so you can have these beautiful sounds, all right? Well, let's take the first example of the trumpet voluntary, all right? So this organ has pistons, the thumb pistons engraved swell orchestral A, swell orchestral B, great orchestral A, great orchestral B, choir A and B, pedal A and B. So there's two options for every division. You can layer them together as you heard, all right? So I want the trumpet on the swell for trumpet voluntary, all right? So what I do is I'm gonna turn on one of those A and B pistons. I'm gonna look in my screen here and then using the knobs over here to the right side, I can navigate through the menu to make my choices, okay? So I turn on A and I want to select trumpet. So I scroll through to find trumpet, okay? I can change the loudness of it. I can change the octave shift, but for trumpet, I'll just leave it where it is. I just love it. Okay, so for the rest of the organ, I want stops, okay? And I'll set them up in the pedal as well. So far, so good, but I need some timpani in the pedal. So I turn on the pedal A, look at my menu here, change it to timpani, and be careful about the octave shift and the level. Make it louder, a little bit louder. And if I like that sound, you gotta be careful of your balancing, you know, just like you do with your pipe organ stops, um, to listen to the balance. And if the trumpet or the timpani is not loud enough or too loud, you can adjust it in the menu. Once you have everything set up, leave it active, just as you would set your pipe organ stops to a piston. I've turned on what I want, including the orchestrals. I'm gonna hold set and save it to a piston. So you just hold set, push your piston, and you're good to go. So I'm gonna cancel, nothing is happening, right? I push the piston I just set, and it's ready to go. All right, well, that's what I did with the other pieces too, the Paco Bell. because I have long fingers, you know, I can stretch the, the two keyboards. And then on piston number five here, I changed it to piano. So it's very easy to set up, to save it into your presets, your pistons, so you can recall it immediately, okay? And again, it's very easy to navigate through these menus uh, using the upper two, there's four knobs over here, so I use the upper two knobs to navigate through the menu system and to make my selections, okay? Now, let me go back to the trumpet voluntary, right? You notice that I was not playing this the way some music shows. I was just using D and A. Why? Because the timpani is playing. You know, you have to think orchestrally when you play with these instruments. Timpani, you know, if you had a real timpani player here, how many kettle drums would he have? Maybe three, not 
32. <laughs> so you cannot go nuts with your, uh, your uh, pedal. No, you can't do that. So basically I stuck with D and A and E. That's it. So you have to think about that. All right, and likewise with the oboe, if you're playing something, you have to remember what is the range of the oboe? Well, the oboe, I think B below middle C is the lowest note an oboe can play, even though on the organ we can play more notes. That's really outside the range of an oboe, but more generally, That's more the range of the oboe. So you gotta think about that when you play these orchestral instruments, okay? With strings, of course, and harp, you've got all 61 keys of your, of your uh, organ that you can play with those, or the piano. Um, but some of the other instruments, you have to think about that, okay? All right, so um, we have explored some music that most organists would already know, Trumpet Voluntary, Yesu Joy, and the Pachelbel Canon. And I've orchestrated them. So you might think of other music you already know, and you can orchestrate it and bring it to a new dimension, okay? Because it's so fun to explore the Rogers organ and all the versatility that it offers you. So I hope that this has helped you a little bit, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.